Hey guys, welcome to my second Game Maker video because I just made uh, one Game Maker video and I thought, wow, that was fun. So I'm gonna make another one. Um, in this video, I'm going to show you how to make a pause menu. And I'm not really going to show you how, how to do it. I'm just going to show you how I did it and explain it in the simplest way I can. And hopefully you will understand. Now, it's a very, 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 very... I'm <laughs> sorry. It really is simple. And just so you realize, this is my current uh, pause menu. So yeah, it's just a big gray box. Obviously, when you make your game, and you should not have just a big gray box as your pause menu, you should like at least type pause or whatever. But this is just a placeholder, so I don't care. Th this is what I did. Now, here's how it works. The f Let me just show you that it actually does work. I'm going to show you on Windows. And... Okay, I'm gonna ignore the pausing. Let's put my key. And... Duck. Pause. 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 Not pause. Pause. Not pause. Ah, it works very good <laughs> all right how I did it well I have an object which I call obg static manager and it's static manager so what does static mean it it it, it means that it's persistent and I think this is the only persistent object that I have in the game for a few reasons, one reason, well I'm not going to get into it, but this is the only persistent object that I have in the game. And what's relevant in here is basically in the create event object, there are few variables that I use in the pause function. And the first is saved room. And this is really the most relevant one. What it does, it's it saved the current room that the static manager is in at the moment because the you will see the other thing is save score it saves the score all right not big deal and now i'm going to show you the actual pause function now the the actual pause function i use the backspace button to do the pause uh, reasons for choosing the the, pause, the backspace is because on the android device backspace is like the back button so when the user click the back button it pauses the game i am going to change a few things i'm going to make it actually menu whatever but for now we just pause with a big gray box and here's the pause function very simple so the first thing that you check it's the current room name why because we need to make sure that we are not already in the pause room if we are in the pause room we want to go back to the other room but we have if we are not in the pause room we want to uh, go to pause you know to go to the pause room so if we are not in the pause room you see this is like not you see um do all those things between here and there so what it actually do it actually save the score first thing we want to save the score i'm not 100 percent sure that you will need to, to do this in your game but in my game i had to do this to save the score other things and this is probably the most important thing uh, in this pause function is this little thing group resistance equal to what it does it Basically, when the room persistence is true, all the objects in that room are persistent. Which, persistence is kind of like static. Well, it's the same as static for me, at least. It means that everything is safe. When you go back to the room, everything will be as it used to. Um, and the saved room, so we can go back to the room. And the uh, room go to pause. This basically pause the game. It gives us the pause thing. Thingy. Now, this is how we pause the game. We have this, we pause the game. And now, let me show you how I release the game. So, if we paused, are we unpaused? So, else, 
the else basically mean if it is in the pause room so if it is in the pause room we are going to the saved room remember the room that we saved like a second before and we set an alarm 0 to 1 now the reason I use alarm is because the, it was a little buggy when I did everything that it was in the alarm right here I'm not sure why probably like what happened first and what you know, never mind just just use an alarm and let me show you what's in the alarm because this is the unpause thing so now remember now we are going now we are in the room in in the saved room which is the room that we paused in so we are back in the room and we use room resistant files so we don't want all the objects that were resistance to stay resistance we don't want it and score equal power score so we get our score back and another thing that I do for some reason I use Android and for some very 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 weird reasons which I'm 100% sure is a bug the virtual keys disappeared I mean I think it's a bug I'm not 100% sure so in order to bring back the virtual keys I the virtual keys are actually using another manager which is on statics which I guess might be the reason they disappear well could be so the draw of the virtual keys is in a custom event very simple if you don't know what this is it's it just draw virtual keys if you are going to use the game on a mobile phone which i do so that's it very simple very easy if you have any questions you are more than welcome to ask in the comments um let me show you the scripts once more so again in the create see in the press backspace which is my pause button see and uh, in the alarm and again the with OB obg manager user event zero is obviously not something that you're going to need unless you have virtual keys and you are having the same problems that i had because it's not necessary Alright, thank you for watching, and again, if you have questions, ask.